What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great week so far. This is gonna be episode two of a 13 part series where I take you through every step to making an attention grabbing nightclub after movie slash party video. A Little bit of a shorter episode today, but I'm gonna be showing you guys something I haven't really seen many people doing before. It absolutely makes my file offloading workflow crazy fast. And I like to call it making use of a dummy folder. It's also gonna make sure that you never lose track of a client's photos or videos ever again. What you wanna do first is create a folder that you're going to leave on your desktop and or hard drive. On the screen here is my folder and here's the structure I have inside of it. You'll want to do something very similar. Inside of this folder, you're going to create your typical file structure as if you just got back home from a shoot. Raw photos, edited photos, video, so forth. Checking out my folder here, I've done exactly that. Make sure that you leave all of these folders empty so there's no raw photos here, there's no edited photos here. And here's an idea as to what my folder structure looks like. The final videos would go here. My A7S III, the proxies go in this folder. Same thing with the video and photo. And then if we jump into PP, which I like to call Premiere Pro, all of my Premiere Pro files stay in this folder, so I never lose them, even if there's a million autosaves, because we're working with Premiere Pro. Photoshop files, so if I'm working with titles, I drop those in here. Anything After Effects related. Basically, anything that I'm going to be putting in my Premiere Pro bins, I put in this Premiere Pro folder. And then I have a media package where I create a folder just to share with the client. I have like a quick thank you, kind of like a business card. Now that you've seen my dummy folder and you've created one similar, let's act like we just got back from a shoot, you put your SD card in your computer and you're ready to offload the footage. This was actually me doing it last night, getting a head start on some projects. Now what you can do is open your hard drive and or your desktop, go into where you're working. We're gonna do last night's footage, December 3rd. Now that we created that folder on our hard drive, what we can do is open that dummy folder, copy all of the contents by clicking Command A, then just copy it or click Command C, then Command V, paste all of those contents in the folder you just created. Now when you get back from a shoot and you're exhausted, you don't have to go around renaming all of those folders, they're there already. So let's just go through me dumping all of my SD card contents into this folder. And a helpful tip too, if there's a lot of folders you're using frequently, like this example folder, you can drag them into your sidebar. Like I have my LUTs here and my YouTube stuff because I'm accessing those folders a whole bunch. Now you can close that example folder. Make sure you still have your new folder from the shoot open. Open your photos. You can click Command A. Now what you can do is copy all of those photos from your recent shoot. Go into footage, however you structured yours, mine, A7S III, raw photos. Once you have the edited photos, you can throw them in there. And then you can grab all of your videos from that shoot as well. Load them into the video portion of that folder. Grab all of the proxies, copy those, throw them where they belong. And then do that same process if you ended up using some iPhone footage. I have a camcorder that I use, so I would throw the rest of the stuff in there. Or a drone, just rinse and repeat that same process. And then lastly, to make sure we never lose track of our Premiere Pro files. You can go into new project. We're just gonna fly through this quick. Go down here to choose location, hospitality, chemist, Premiere Pro, go into Premiere Pro folder and then create. And now that we have that project created, of course, if we go into PP, which is Premiere Pro, we check out PPF, Premiere Pro files. That's exactly where that file is located. All the auto saves will go there and all the other folders that Premiere Pro creates. Adding to the benefit of this, your file structure and folders for years to come are gonna be organized in a uniform manner, which is gonna make it incredibly easy to always access your file super quickly and or when a client asks for footage or photos weeks or months later. And if we check out one of my backup hard drives, we can see all of my projects from 2022 and 21 and if we click on any of these like Bailey Road Band a video I just finished for example click on the final folder final video is right here you can check out the whole thing a7s3 we click on video all the videos are there we click on proxies all the proxies are there super organized if we click on edited here are all the edited photos logos invoices quote from your pro all the files right there Photoshop file I made and then the music I use throughout that project. It's so nice having a uniform file structure and that when a client asks for something that you can confidently say that you still have it. If you guys enjoyed episode two, make sure to check out the next episode because we're gonna be talking about how to set up Premiere Pro the most efficient way possible so that you can get your videos turned around ASAP. Right here, it's right here, check that out, do it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video, Thursday, 11 a.m. AST, peace.